Hey everyone, it's Kathy Koliakovo with PepperItMarketing.com and I'm going to be sharing a tip with you on marketing your private practice, your dietitian business, or your service-based business that's going to help you avoid some of the burnout that happens with marketing. And that is one of the biggest things that I find folks run into is they end up doing so much with their marketing that it they really and truly become burnt out from it. It becomes overwhelming. It just becomes frustrating is a lot of it. I often hear folks saying that they feel like they're stuck on an endless cycle of marketing. You know you need to do marketing to get clients. You need clients for your business, so you keep doing it continually and continually over and over. And the problem is half the time you're not spending enough time with clients and you're spending more time on your marketing and you just feel like you're really stuck in that cycle that it's just going nowhere. So one of the things that will help you save some time with your marketing and help you avoid the burnout is to stop creating different content for all the different social media channels you're part of. Now, number one, you really want to start off by focusing on one main social media area because one of the things you have to remember too is marketing is not all about social media. Marketing involves several different aspects. Marketing involves a bunch of different marketing foundations. There's 10 that I like to share with people in my programs. Marketing is, is making sure you have your messaging down pat. Marketing is also making sure that you have your content and know what you're going to put out there and that your content is actually helping you achieve your goals and that you're not posting whatever kind of content you think is, is going to help you out there. And then the last one is having systems in place so that you can make sure that you're not spending all sorts of time on your marketing. So those are what I refer to as the four pillars of marketing. And when it comes to putting your marketing content out there, one of the things you have to understand is that you don't have to be on every social media channel. So if you're thinking that you do now, I'm giving you permission right here and now, that does not have to be the case, okay? But the other thing that I do want you to think about is if you are using a few different social media channels, you do not have to create different content for all of those and content for your newsletter and content for your blog. That's where the burnout typically happens. People start creating so much content that they turn into a content creating machine and they feel stuck on this endless cycle like a hamster wheel of marketing that just goes nowhere. And oftentimes it it is going nowhere because you're, you know, one thing I like, I tell people, it's not that I like to say it, I was gonna say I like to say it, but I don't like to say it. One thing that I do tell folks is when your marketing is not working, putting out more and more content isn't going to help you, okay? You really have to step back, assess what you're doing, see what's not working with the marketing, and then try to be a little more strategic with what you're doing and get it working and get it out there so that it actually is reaching the people you want it to and doing the job it should, which for most marketing content, the job that you're looking for it to do is to help you bring more traffic more leads, and then you get to convert those leads into clients. So we're looking for traffic, leads, and clients when we're doing our marketing. So I'm gonna give you an example of someone creating too much content. And this is something I see a lot with my Thrive Marketing Academy students and some of the members in my membership inner circle as well, is you're typically going and creating different content. So they will write an article for their newsletter, they'll write an article for their blog, then they'll do all sorts of social media content for LinkedIn, for Facebook, for Twitter, um, and for Instagram. And now we've got some people looking at putting content on TikTok. So there are definitely ways that you can streamline this. Uh, one of the things that I share with the members of my programs is an article creation template. And you can use this whether you're doing blogs or podcasts for your business or your practice. But essentially what you do is when you sit down to create that one piece of content, uh, what you're going to do is create the other aspects of it at the same time. You'll save a lot more time when you're doing this all at once. And you will also find that what you can do in that moment when you're sitting down and focused on creating that one piece of content, you can almost always 
create the other content a lot faster and a lot easier because you're in the moment, you're thinking about that topic, you're thinking about what you're writing about. And so it's easier to pull out pieces from that to create for social media, to create um, for images or to create videos that you're going to put online as well. So creating something different for all the different channels isn't really the way you want to go. You may have to adjust it a little, but it will only take you a second to do that. You don't need to really be creating everything brand new. And I will tell you that oftentimes with folks that have done this as sort of turned into this content creation machine, they're typically spending four and sometimes even five times more on their marketing than they need to be. So turning out and creating more and more content and all sorts of different content for your different channels, that's not the way you need to go. What I suggest you do is streamline your process and focus on creating one main article and from that, create the smaller pieces of content you would use on your social media channels. So that is my marketing tip for you today. And if you do want to get a little hot seat coaching from me this week, you can definitely reach out to me. I'm booking uh, free sessions all week long on Instagram or Facebook. You can click the link in my bio and I'll put it below in the comments on this video as well. And I'd love to see you. Come on here, go live with me. Tell me one of your marketing struggles and one of your roadblocks and we'll walk you through it and help you overcome some of that marketing burnout that I'm seeing a lot of folks have. So have a great day. Celebrate marketing your private practice week. You can do marketing for your business or your practice in an easy to follow way and one that doesn't take all day long to do as well. There are lots of ways to streamline and this tip today is just one of them. Have a great day everybody.